Hello everyone, in this video I will configure traffic shaping and session limit for my test web server. By enforcing session limits, you can prevent a single client or group of clients from establishing an exhaustive number of connections, thus reducing the impact of DDoS attacks. Also web servers have a finity resource, including CPU, memory and network band. Allowing too many concurrent sessions can lead a resource exhaustion and resulting in degraded performance or even server crash. The FortiGate traffic shaping is featured within the Fortinet FortiGate firewall platform that allows you to control and manage network traffic by applying quality of service policies. The traffic shaper provides a set of tools to shape, control and monitor network traffic based on predefined policies and rules. As you can see, this is my test environment. You can realize client interface as a WAN interface and web server interface as a DMZ of network that web servers rise on this interface. I will limit TCB sessions that initiated from client side to the web server. Let's start configuration. Select interface from network menu. Client interface is here in my topology. Web server's interface is here. This is our client PC and we will limit sessions from this client to this web server. This is our client PC. This is my test web server. As you can see, I installed IIS on this server and upload one file to it and for test purpose, I will download this file from client PC. Going back to client PC. Open web server address. As you can see, this IP is my test web server. By clicking download test, my 10 GB file will be downloaded from the web server. As you can see, Internet Download Manager created 24 sessions simultaneously to web server and this limit applied by Internet Download Manager configuration. We don't have any session limit configuration on our firewall. Cancel. Now I am going to configure session limit. Click on traffic shaper under policy and shaping menu. There are predefined traffic shapers by FortiGate. In the traffic shaping policy, you can see the applied traffic shapers. At the first, I have to create a traffic shape. Click on create a new. Here we have two options, shared and per IP shaper. Let me introduce difference briefly. In a shared shaper configuration, the available bandwidth or session is divided among various classes or categories of traffic. But in a per shaper configuration, the available bandwidth or session is allocated to individual IP address or range. This approach allows you to prioritize traffic based on the source IP address. In my scenario, I will use per IP shaper. Write the name of this traffic shaper. Sorry, click on per IP shaper. Write per IP 5 session as a name. As you can see, limitation settings are different from shared shaper. You can limit your bandwidth and sessions based on these options. In my test scenario, I will limit TCP session number to 5. It does not limit UDP sessions. 
write 5 as a TCP connection. Okay. Traffic shapers appears here, but until we don't apply this in traffic shaping policy, it does not work. Click on traffic shaping policy. Create a new. Write the name for this policy. In my scenario, as you can see, source interface name is a client and outgoing of destination is web server interface. Because web servers should be accessed from everywhere, I used any as a source. But don't forget because I used per IP shaper and this shaper apply on each source IP address individually. Destination is my web server. Create an address for it. Web server IP address is 10.20.1.3. Okay. Service here is very useful and important. Some minutes ago I limit TCP sessions but I could not apply any port or service. Here we can apply TCP sessions for which service. For example if I select SMTP here my session limit does not work for HTTP or HTTPS traffic. If I select any all of TCP sessions to this web server will be affected by traffic shaping. Because this is a test scenario, I select all, but in your production environment, select a specific service that you want to apply shaper. First part is our trigger condition, then part is our action. Enable apply shaper. Because my shaper is per IP, enable per IP shaper. Select per IP5 session. OK. Now test this config. Connecting to my client PC. Remove last test from the Internet Download Manager without any shaper. Try to download file again. Start download. As you remember, when we downloaded this file, Internet Download Manager created 24 session to our web server. But at this time, it cannot create more than 5 session. You can see the statistic from here. Okay, by using these steps, I can limit session to my web server. In continue, I will configure bandwidth limit also. Open created traffic shaper. Change bandwidth unit to megabit per second.
enable maximum bandwidth write 32 take attention this limit is based on a bit not a byte okay now test this policy Open web server, start download, at this time as you can see limits apply to both station and bandwidth. Transfer rate is something like 4 megabyte per second. If we change it to megabit per second, it's 32 megabit and this is my limit that I configured in traffic shaper There are summary and statistic of my shaper I hope this video was useful for you to protect your internal server from public zone also, you can apply Shaper to your internal zone to protect your bandwidth against congestions. I have a video related to this topic you can watch in my channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch another videos. You can also ask your questions in the comments. Have a good day. Bye bye.